members, thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today to share how communities in suburban, urban, and rural areas are reducing veteran homelessness through a data-driven, collaborative approach. My name is Roseanne Haggerty. I am the president and CEO of Community Solutions. And first, I'd like to acknowledge the progress of our federal partners at the VA, U.S. Interagency Council on Homelessness, and HUD, and the progress they have made in reducing veteran homelessness. I especially want to recognize the adoption of the one-team approach, which involves coordinated actions and program interventions aimed at ending veteran homelessness and providing homeless veterans with a holistic housing and tailored services plan. Now, Community Solutions is a national nonprofit working toward a lasting end to homelessness. We support a network of more than 140 U.S. communities across 38 states. Our aim is to reach a tipping point where homelessness is understood as solvable, progress is expected, and a critical mass of communities are achieving measurable reductions by the end of 2026. Now, working with communities through an individual uh, initiative called Built for Zero, we use a rigorous data-driven methodology to help communities change how local homeless response systems work and the impact they achieve. The key to this methodology is the creation of a comprehensive, by name, real-time list of each person experiencing homelessness in that community. Real-time, by name data has proven to be a game changer for every type of community working to end veteran homelessness. The use of real-time information allows teams to diagnose individual and system challenges, to problem solve, coordinate services, track progress, and course correct as needed, and gives local system leaders and policymakers the actionable information they need to know what's working and where things are stuck. It also enables teams to, to test ideas, innovate, and apply proven practices like continuous quality improvement to achieve measurable results. Now, currently, over 80 communities within our Built for Zero network are focused on reducing veteran homelessness. And of these, 45 communities have seen measurable reductions, and among those, 12 communities have made veteran homelessness rare and brief, the functional zero uh, standard. Uh, and I'll say proudly that over 105,000 veterans in these communities have uh, been housed uh, since 2015. And now what this looks like on the ground is, for, ex for example, in Chattanooga and Central Tennessee, a multi-sector team can quickly rehouse any veteran who becomes homeless. Gulf Coast, Mississippi can rehouse any veteran who becomes homeless within 11 days. Detroit, Michigan has reduced veteran homelessness by 50% uh, percent, leveraging data to coordinate services and expedite housing placements. Similarly, Metro Denver has reduced veteran homelessness by 30%, and the Twin Cities have reduced veteran homelessness by 24%. And also in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, we see the community team is working to make de-identified data available to the public to galvanize local support for ending veteran homelessness. These examples illustrate the power of quality real-time data to drive measurable reductions in veteran homelessness across diverse communities. Now, our vision is that every community in the United States, regardless of size or resources, can leverage data to its fullest potential to confidently identify and assist every person experiencing homelessness. And to harness the potential of quality data, we recommend several key policy changes. First, adopt the use of by name data to drive reductions in veteran homelessness. Reconfigure systems, including the already strong homes data system, to adopt a by name data model. This approach allows for personalized tracking of each veteran, facilitates targeted coordination of services, such as through the one team model being used by the VA, and accelerates their path to a stable home. Second, Shift data standards to rely on regularly collected and reported real-time data. Once aggregated and de-identified, use this current data as the primary performance indicator for progress in addressing veteran homelessness. This provides a continuous and therefore more accurate picture of veteran homelessness and allows for timely and targeted interventions to ensure no veteran is left behind. And finally, enhance VA and community data sharing, community data sharing for homeless veterans. The federal government can enhance data sharing between the VA and community partners that are providing services for homeless veterans. Cleland Dole Section 309 mandates that the Secretary of Veterans Affairs and the Secretary of HUD collect, collaboratively develop a system for de effective data sharing and reporting between the community-wide homeless management information systems defined uh, in McKinney-Vento and the VA's Homeless Operations Management and Evaluation System, HOMES. This system which must be operationalized by the end of 25, aims to improve service coordination. Thank you very much. 
for your time, and I look forward to answering any questions you may have.